welcome back to my channel so today is a really exciting day today is Friday and I planned on making a really fun video today all about romanticizing my hometown and just bringing you all along for my day I planned an itinerary just like I would if I was traveling somewhere else but doing it in my own hometown and bringing you guys along for that so my sister is going to be coming with me and she's actually here right now <laughs> okay everyone so my sister just got here for those of you who don't know this is my sister and your Angela <laughs> so we're going to be going around town we're gonna go eat first though because I'm really hungry and then we'll go do all the other things so like the museum um, one of our local independent bookstores so all of that and I'm really excited to bring you all along So welcome to my hometown everyone, or at least a specific city in my hometown here in the Rio Grande Valley, South Texas. So our first stop was to get lunch at Birdie Bistro in downtown McAllen. So this is basically a vintage European style restaurant. The decor is beautiful. There's a really pretty outdoor patio on a second floor that you can go ahead and see a beautiful view from. However, because it was 100 degrees, me and my sister decided to have our food inside. But I'm definitely looking forward to coming back in the fall also. The decor inside is so stinking cute and adorable. Very vintage style. I was sitting next to a cardboard cutout. Every corner that you looked at, there was something very quaint. I ended up ordering the chicken fettuccine alfredo and my sister ordered a turkey avocado sandwich and they were both so delicious. They don't have a very large menu, but the food was so yummy and I've heard that brunch there is really good too, which I haven't tried yet. So me and my sister are definitely gonna have to go back because I've only ever gone there for lunch before. Just got out of eating at the restaurant. Was it good lunch? Yeah. Next up on the list was to go ahead and visit our local independent bookstore. The bookstore is called J'aime le livre and it basically looks like a small home converted into a bookstore which is just the cutest vibe. I've always loved driving down 10th street and the art district specifically. This bookstore has a book club and painting night and they also have a sister store and has more recent releases and this bookstore carries more used books on various topics and the shop owner is so sweet and kind and recommended books for my sister that she is so excited so to read <laughs> this one is like cute yeah just like a rom-com mm -hmm. so adorable recommended by the store owner hi everyone so we're back home now we had a really good time having lunch and then going to the bookstore but right now we're just gonna relax for a little bit because it's so hot like we're proud of ourselves for going out <laughs> into the heat to try to have fun because we're having a really good time but yeah we're just gonna stay inside and chill for a little bit have you seen this commercial already Okay everyone, so we just finished watching the movie and right now it's already 6 o'clock I think, yeah, 6.07. So we're gonna go ahead and head out to Barnes & Noble and then to the Mercadito. This is the time when Texans go out. <sighs> you guys, it is currently 111 degrees here in South Texas. We're still really excited to go and Texas things. I'm bringing my water bottle <laughs> with me and I also have my hair up because yeah, no, it feels like we're under a hair dryer right now. But I really hope you guys are enjoying this vlog, this video so far. I'm, I'm having so much fun.
ended up going to the mercado and inside of the mercado there's a bunch of different food shops and also a bunch of other little shops so for example they have a flower shop vegan pastries a book shop and all kinds of really delicious foods from different restaurants it is so so much fun going i also love that i live five to ten minutes from all of these things that we ended up doing today it's definitely super convenient and why i love living in my hometown and in the city that i do Okay, so listen everyone, hear me out. I ended up timing things out wrong. Me and my sister wanted to go to the museum, but there was just not enough time in our day. So I decided to go with my husband to our local museum the next day for a little date night. So the International Museum of Art and Science opened in 1969, and there's a general admission fee of $3, $1 for children, and educators actually get in free. So my husband got to get in free, which was really cool. But you guys, I've always just loved coming to my local museum. It's just so peaceful in there. They always have workshops and events here for the community. This time around though, I was really excited to see the Industrial Nature exhibit by Michelle Stiltzine. And plus, I always love getting to see the Mexican and Latin American folk art section. It is my favorite. I love getting to see our culture and art displayed for our community to enjoy. I stand alone Show me where the Indian goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know All in this, I stand alone Show me where the Indian goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know I look for the thing 
things I don't know So I wanted to hop on here and end the video for you by sharing with you some of the books that I ended up getting So while I was at Barnes & Noble, I ended up picking out two books, which I'm really excited to read The first one being flirting with fate I'm so excited to read this and I had to get it because the artwork apparently is done by a local artist from the RGB So from my hometown and they did a phenomenal beautiful job i had to get it and then the other book that i ended up picking up was the midnight library it's one that i've been wanting to read for a really long time so i'm super excited to get into this hopefully it'll get me into a fall kind of mood because i'm so over summer you guys like i've really enjoyed trying to find ways to make the most of summer and enjoy it but it's definitely not my favorite season but i still wanted to try to find ways to find enjoyment in it because when you live in south texas it's definitely hard to do that when it's 111 <laughs> outside and the last thing that i ended up getting is this right here look at how cute adorable we love it this is definitely going to be going up on one of my shelves probably in my office so cute so that is it for this video everyone i really hope you enjoyed it i have honestly been wanting to do things like this on my channel for a really long time and get back to it but you know with everything that happened 2020 you all know it was just became really hard to go out and do things and to do so in a way where i felt safe where i felt like i could actually enjoy it and it's starting to feel like that again so i really hope you all enjoyed this video because i was having a blast the whole time filming this and editing to share it with you thank you all so much for watching definitely let me know down in the comment section what summer activities you're doing you know to try to enjoy the season stay cozy everyone and i will catch you in my next video bye mm -hmm.